Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain you about design a simply supported beam of effective span, which is 1.5 meters, carrying a factored concentrated load of 360 kN at mid span. So in this problem, we are going to design a simply supported beam in design of steel structures. So we all know that the maximum moment for simply supported beam, the load is acting at uh, mid span. The formula is WL by 4, that is 360 is the load, 1.5 is span, and 4, I got this value. After that, I am calculating ZP required, that is plastic section modulus required, M by gamma M not FY, this formula is available in code book, and that is M value we calculated, and gamma M not is partial safety factor, which is available in code book, table number 5, page number 30, that is 1.1 by 250, 250 is a yield stress, so I got this value. After calculating that, we need to choose a trial section. So trial section, I am taking ISMB 300, Indian Standard Medium M 300, which has ZP value 651.731 into 10 power 3 mm cube. This value is available in steel tables book. You can refer in steel tables for ISMB 300 or code book also it is available. And next, uh, for this ISMB 300, I am going to list out the sectional properties. The depth is 300 mm. Thickness of the flange is 12.4 mm and width of the flange is 140 mm. Next, we need to find out the depth that is D, H minus 2 into thickness of the flange plus R1. This is nothing but our beam is I section. Suppose our section is like this I section beam. So, here we need to find out depth of the web. Web means this portion. So, already uh, this is a little bit of curved portion so the root this R1 is called root of this portion radius of this one so R1 so thickness of the flange so here two flanges are there and here also little bit of curved portion is there this is also R1 so I'm de uh, we need this distance so I am detecting 2 into total height minus 2 into thickness of the flanges plus R1 so I got 247.2 mm. After that I am calculating HF center to center distance of flanges. This center to center distance of the flanges. So total depth is 300 minus 12.4 is the thickness of the flange and this thickness of the flange. Half of this flange is 6.2 and 6.2. So 12.4 by 2. So I got 293.8 mm. After that thickness of the web value 7.5 mm. This is available, these values are all available in steel tables or code book. Sulfate of the beam is 0.4336 kN per meter and factored weight is 1.5 factor of safety that is 1.5 into 0.4336 kN per meter. After calculating this, we need to calculate factored moment due to sulfate. So that is 1.5 into WL square by 8, we know the formula factored moment so 1.5 into sorry I wrote all the values 0.4336 is factor load and 1.5 square by 8 I got this value total factored moment is 135 plus 0.183 135.183 kilonewton meter so this 135 is the moment maximum moment so after that factored shear force we know the formula for simply supported beam WL by 2 factor of safety that is factored load 1.5 into WL by 2. So I got this value. So total factored shear force is 360 divided by 2 plus 0 0.4 double eight because 360 is the load which is acting at the mid, mid span. So plus 0 0.4 double eight. I got 180.4 double eight kilonewtons. After that, we need to uh, we need to uh, code is specifying that we need to classify the section whether it is a compact section or plastic section or semi compact like that code is uh, specifying some sections so for that section classification epsilon equal to root over 250 by fy so fy is nothing but yield stress that is 250 so i got one but in table number two page number 18 code is specifying that some limiting width ratios that is uh, b by tf less than 9.4 epsilon and 70 by sorry and d by tw less than 84 epsilon we need to satisfy these conditions like that in table 2 uh, 
limiting width ratios are there code book listed that so in page number 18 if suppose b value is 70 that is overhanging half of the portion is overhanging so 140 divided by 2 70 so 70 by thickness of the flange is 12.4 i got 5.64 which is less than 9.4 epsilon epsilon value is 1 already we calculated here like that t by, uh, d by tw we know the d value and tw thickness of the web 7.5 which is less than 84 epsilon so if suppose this is less than 9.4 epsilon and less than 8, 8, 4, 84 epsilon code is specifying that it belongs to class 1 section that is plastic after uh, uh, selecting this plastic section we need to calculate shear capacity of the section in page number 59 clause number 8.4.1 this formula is available vd equal to fy by root 3 into 1 by gamma m naught this is the shear area h into thickness of the web so i substituted all the values i got this 295.235 kilonewtons since sorry uh, section is okay to resist shear okay this is the uh, to resist shear 295.235 kilonewtons we got or shear force is which is less than shear capacity hence it is okay after calculating this we need to calculate code is specifying one more thing that is 0.6 vd so 0.6 vd is the shear force i mean shear capacity so 0.6 into 295.235 i got this value and code is specifying v greater than 0.6 vd after that i am calculating moment capacity previously we calculated shear capacity now moment capacity and next this formula is available in page number 70 class number 9.2.2 in is 800 2007 we need to calculate this formula by using this formula so in this md equal to zpfy by zpfy into 1 by gamma m naught which are less than or equal to 1.2 zdfy by f into 1 by gamma m naught so after calculating this i got this value after this i calculated 1.2 zdfy into 1 by gamma m naught so after substituting all these values i got this value so this uh, Z D value previously we calculated. I mean uh, we are having in the steel tables book. I listed in in previous uh, step. And next I am calculating this beta value. This is also available in code book. Two V by V D minus one whole square. Every values are there. And next after calculating this value, we need to calculate the critical stress. So critical stress for this critical stress we need to refer table number fourteen. FCRB we need to calculate so for the KL by R that is 1500 this L is the length 1.5 meters so I converted this as uh, meters sorry mm 1500 divided by 28.4 this K value is 1 52.8 so H by HF by TF equal to 293.8 by 12.4 this HF value we calculated it is a center to center distance of flanges next thickness of the flange is 12.4 i got this value so after calculating these two values we need to do double interpolation so already i told you about this double interpolation in previous problems so in table number four these values are available but here our hf by tf value is in between 20 to 25 okay so and next we need to find out 23.69 i mean 23.69 is our value but here in between 23.69 value we don't know the value of this value i mean this kl by r value okay and 52.8 is our kl by r value this value is in between 50 to 60 so now i'm going to find out x value o value and y value by using double interpolation after calculating this i mean after doing this i will show you the double interpolation first i'm calculating at x FCRB, FCRB value here. I'll show you. So first, I'm going to calculate x value, which is 995.3. That is uh, at 50 value minus 23.69. That is h by t of value minus 20. That is also h by t of value 25 minus 20 and 995.3 minus 951.7. After that I got at x 963.123 newton per mm square like that at y I am calculating 
by using double interpolation. I got this value. Now I'm going to, after getting x and y values, I'm going to calculate in between value, that is O value. So here, after getting x and y, we need to do interpolation by using these two values. So I got 3 plus 8.2 Newton per mm square, that is FCRB. After getting this, we need to calculate FCD, that is compressive stress. So after getting this uh, FCRB value, by doing again, I am doing a single interpolation for this value. So I got uh, this, these values are all available in uh, 13A, in table number uh, 13A. You can refer this table in IS 800 2007. In, the, in those table, these values are available. Okay. After calculating this, I got 204.77. After that, MFD I am calculating, that is FCD into A. I got FCD value 204.77 into area that is 5626 for ISMC what we choose ISMB I got this value after that I substitute all the values in the MDV okay in this formula MDV formula so I got this value that is 140.77 into 10 power 6 Newton mm so whichever is greater than 130.190 that is our force hence it is safe now i am going to calculate the deflection that is delta equal to double l cube by 48 ea so i got 1.68 mm but the code is specifying that which is uh, uh, less than span by 300 our span is 1500 mm by 300 which is safe hence the section is adequate so we are going to provide ismb 300 as beam okay like that we are going to design a beam in a design of steel structures Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.